Today, we need to talk about someone that we've never talked about before on my channel, and that's Michaela Neguera. Michaela is one of the TikTok makeup influencers that shot to fame during the pandemic and pretty much overtook all of her faves on YouTube. She does these really quick makeup reviews that are fast and easy to follow, and people seem to love it. All her videos get anywhere from like a million to 10 million views, and she has over 14 million followers, so it's no surprise that she's gone on to grab the attention of some pretty huge brands. She did a makeup collab with a brand called Glamlight, and she even got her own favorite favorites kit with Glam Glow. But just as much as people love her, there's also a lot of people that aren't her biggest fans. Whenever someone gains notoriety so quickly, there's going to be backlash and hate, some warranted and some not so much. I haven't covered any of the Michaela drama because honestly, it didn't seem that huge to me. But now she's being called out for lying in her reviews and people are really mad. Be f real. Why can we not be honest on this app? Why is it so hard? It's really not that hard. And this really upsets me because I really used to trust her recommendations. The other day, Michaela got on her TikTok and she decided to make a sponsored post about the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Lift Mascara. Now, before we get into the whole drama of it, I just want to point out how sneaky these TikTok girlies are when it comes to ads. This video is a clear ad for L'Oreal, and if you're an original beauty community member, you know that most influencers say something like, thanks to so-and-so for partnering with me on this video, or thanks to so-and-so for sponsoring this video. There needs to be a clear disclosure that people can see and read. Well, here we have Michaela using a trick that we've been seeing so much with a new generation of beauty influencers. Instead of, you know, verbally disclosing that she's a partner and is benefiting from this review, she puts in really small white font that blends into the bottom and doesn't stick out at all that she's a L'Oreal partner. The really sneaky thing about this whole situation is this is a video about a mascara. You're clearly going to be looking at her eyes and not down near where the text box is. The only other place that her affiliation is disclosed is in the hashtags with hashtag L'Oreal Paris Partner. Now, I'm sure there's some loophole where she's getting away with this, but to me, it just feels really dishonest, like she's trying to hide it. If anything, she should be proud that she has a partnership with L'Oreal, not trying to hide it to make her review seem more unbiased. Even her own fans noticed how hard she was trying to hide her affiliation, and they called her out, writing, Wait, why don't you put hashtag ad and label your post as sponsored? Isn't that illegal? And someone replied and said, I've noticed influencers using hashtag partner now. People are just looking out for her. If she gets caught, there's a huge fine to pay. And another person said, illegal is illegal, doesn't matter who you are. But the real problem people are having is with the actual review itself. We're gonna watch this review step by step just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Look how long and lengthened my lashes look. You, li this literally just changed my life. This looks like false, li this is how, what? <laughs> it's this L'Oreal telescopic lift. Look at the wand. Okay, so basically I'm taking the curved side and I'm going root to tip and I'm satin to coat the lashes. And then once you've done that, you flip the brush to the side and you use the hook comb to basically separate. This is one coat. Okay, I'm gonna add a second. So with the one coat alone, you can already tell that the mascara is pretty good. It separated her lashes, it made them long, and she should have just stopped there. But then she cuts and applies a second coat off camera. Look at the length. Do you see that? I am speechless. And I'm not sure anyone's going to ever be able to compete with this mascara. <laughs> and all of a sudden, she has a full set of lashes that magically grew and gave her this amazing volume. Please tell me how one extra coat of mascara can take your lashes from this to this. It's just not possible and people are calling her out. Okay, look at the eyelashes. Look at them closely. So she is telling us that this mascara can turn into this. Ma'am, BFR. Because this ain't adding up. One person said, wait, are you not wearing falsies at the end? And Michaela said, no, oh my god, L'Oreal would never allow that in a partnered post. But y'all are proving my point. Girl, did you add falsies at the end? We can see the length in the outer corner. And Michaela said, no, just three or four coats in my tight liner. 
but people aren't believing it and I don't blame them. Most people have come to the conclusion that Michaela is using a lash that we all know and love, the Ardell Demi Wispies. One person said, I know an Ardell Demi Wispy when I see it. Girl, that's an Ardell Demi Wispy if I've ever seen one. Looks like the Ardell Wispies to me. And literally all of her comments are calling her out on these false lashes and just expressing how disappointed they are in her. Do the false lashes come with the mascara? Always thought she was a real one, but of course after the money. Save the video and zoom in. You can see the false lashes where they separate on the lash line and the tip of the right eyelashes. That's 100% falsies. No, Michaela, I can't back you up on this video. I truly, truly am sad. I really did trust you. I legit feel hurt. I've been watching your stuff and really been team Michaela till now. One person even said, you know what beauty influencer has led me on the honest path? Jeffree Star. And Jeffree Star actually got involved in the drama by subtweeting her writing, I'll be back to reviewing makeup products next week. These can't stop lying to their audiences and it makes me sick. And Jeffree isn't the only influencer to call her out. Soph Does Life called her out under her video writing, I'm so disappointed to see this. I have no doubts that the mascara is great. I love their original telescopic, but you can clearly see the falsies here. Even Kathleen Lights, who never gets into any kind of drama, called her out on Instagram. I am so shocked right now. And I, I feel like I'm gonna regret posting this because I love my peers, I love the beauty community, and I stay out of drama. I don't want, I don't want to talk to anybody like at all. Um, but I was just stretching after my workout and I was on TikTok and I saw like a big influencer who like I respect and like she's awesome and I and I and I like her TikToks a lot. But I just saw a sponsored post. Um I'm like I'm like shaking because I'm so shocked. I'm like shaking because I'm so shocked. I saw her do a sponsored post, which that doesn't matter because uh, whatever, sponsorships are awesome. I do them all the time. Um, but it was about a mascara. And when she shows like the finished product of the second coat, she's like wearing Ardell Demi Wispies or something. Like there's falsies there. Like it's very clear. It's very, very clear. But she's saying that they're not falsies. It's just the mascara. I'm just like, damn, damn, that really sucks. Like for the rest of us who are so honest, <laughs> that really sucks. Kind of disappointed me, but what can you do? And you guys know, if Kathleen gets involved, that's pretty big. She normally stays out of drama and sticks to herself, but you can tell that she's genuinely upset and disappointed in Michaela. She went on to post a screenshot of a conversation that she was having with a friend and she wrote, okay, okay, I won't say anything else about this because I feel bad and I don't want to put someone else down, but damn dude. That's why it's so important to test out products before you agree to a sponsorship. Your relationship with your audience is more important than a paycheck. People will begin to lose trust in you if you aren't honest about your reviews. Come on. And that's the thing that really sucks. This mascara is actually a really good mascara. A lot of people really love it, and it does lift your lashes and give them a nice amount of separation. But trying to say that it gives you all this volume is just so dishonest. And if I were L'Oreal, I would be really mad. Now, because of Michaela, a lot of people who've never tried this before are gonna be like, oh, it must be a crap product if she had to go and put false lashes on to make it look good. We all know that the mascara advertisements that we see on TV usually use some sort of false lash or lash extension for the photography. That's the whole point of having influencers that we trust to review this stuff. If we wanted false promises, we could just go back to watching makeup ads on TV. Michaela completely defeated the purpose of having influencer reviews, and I think a lot of people are gonna lose trust in her after this. The most ironic thing about this whole situation is only last year, Michaela posted a video making fun of people who do the exact same thing that she's doing now. The difference in my lashes with this mascara is absolutely incredible. It truly did a phenomenal job. I mean, literally, just look at the difference. So I just lied straight to your face and you probably believed it. These lashes, totally fake. And that's what brands do. They lie to you about how things work. Would you have known these were false lashes? Maybe not. You are someone who doesn't have a lot of lashes, doesn't know how to apply lashes, or just wants a little lash lift, this video is for you. Now the 
gate, let's start by applying two coats to your favorite mascara. We want to achieve the fuller lash look. We're going to use the Kiss Lash Couture Full Lash Extension. They're super affordable. You get a ton of them. This is the current one I'm using. This is so easy to do. You need a strip lash glue. I'm going to take one of these lash pieces and get some glue on it. You don't got to let it dry. Give it a quick blow. I'm literally going to take the piece and just lay it right on your lashes and press it down. Put about five pieces. Then go ahead and apply one final coat of mascara. How would they know? How would they know? I don't know why she thought people wouldn't catch on, and I don't know why she would risk the trust that she's built with her audience for this partnership. Overall, it's really disappointing, and so far, she hasn't responded to anything. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Did you watch Michaela before this? And if so, has this situation made you lose trust in her reviews? Let me know and I'll see you next time.